Hi guys, I'm Philip. Today I'm gonna teach you this countertop lah, huh, with this pattern. Also, you can put Apple computer. Okay, first we're gonna go for uh, this one uh, at the back. We'll do something like this. Okay. First, we're gonna go for this function uh, using uh, so-called system cabinet. Okay, I'm gonna drag one of the carcass first uh, to do at the back. Put some drawer and door. Okay, maybe this one. Okay, then I change the size a bit. Okay, this one should be fine now, I think. Okay, rotate it a bit also oh, I can adjust the now. Then click on here, I will change the size. Mm. Okay. Here I will put some banner or to do the door and drawer. Okay, using f add function part, or just drag some banner. Uh, not this one. Okay, drag this one. Okay, about the size, uh, you can adjust yourself. Uh, okay, so I roughly put the banner first. Okay, I put one more banner here. function part okay after that we create drawer I'll use this button to add drawer I'll just to drawer only Embedded lah, oh, because the picture is too embedded one. After that, we do one, uh, maybe this one, or the door. Okay, the door is here also. Or oh, open this side. Okay, this door. Embedded also insert. Lah. Okay. So after that, we do one more drawer. Drawer, I will use this function. I will use add function part. Why? Because the drawer are something like this. Okay, let me show you. This one you can adjust. Or that one also can adjust, but not that freedom. So I will use this function. Add function part, drag the drawer here. Then I can adjust the size. Okay, let's show you. So this one, I, I approximately, uh, I need to minus. Uh, or minus the 80 for the side okay so two side right then I minus again 80 okay so become 36 here I will change it 80 move it a bit okay and move inside a bit so inside I will change the depth okay select it on the depth I will minus maybe 18 also just for banner then here I adjust a bit 36 right so I will adjust the 36 to 80 again. I don't know why it run, but never mind. That's why I use this function because this one is something like this. You can see, okay? So here I will uh, do the top. Well, now I'm gonna do an outside top. This one, the curved one. Okay, so I will drag a banner. Okay, then we drag a banner. I'm using here part. Drag a banner, then we'll cut the pattern first, then we will extrude it. Okay, cut this super board. So I approximate this one uh, 600, 900, right? So I'll make it 1200. Or 900 plus 300 on the side and the left side. Okay, 1005, sorry. Uh. Then we will see the depth. No, this one the depth, right? Okay. So I will make the depth here. Click on this one, six hundred depth. 
okay that one is 400 something so uh, should be fine uh. then I move it okay rotate it first okay use spot selection B then I use panel point editing okay so now I will delete the banner first then draw the pattern usually we we'll do like this okay just delete the banner then click draw okay then draw the banner yeah I think I'm in the wrong direction or well, 300 for the side right mm, okay maybe I undo it first control Z, control Z, undo it then start with here okay start with here 300 for the side then come out 450 okay then go to another side here I will count back like 100 200 300 okay so 300 is here for side then I complete the square after that we're gonna chamfer it up click on the button you will see this button called outer filler radius change it 300 because the side I give it 300 here do the same thing radius give it 300 this one also so you can see we have the pattern okay save return okay this one I need one for the top one for the bottom so mm, I may just change the size first or oh, for 1000 uh, copy first uh, control V mm, copy one then one I change the height this one I give it 1000 oh. press the Z button move it ok so adjust it up. ok adjust it continue using Z button con adjust it a bit mm, perfect okay then continue we're gonna uh, do the top on huh? this one I will put the top okay okay we'll do the top however the top right the size are not correct like you can see from the previous one so I will uh, create new create new because the size are different on top I need bigger or the size need bigger 1005 right follow back the things 1005 but I will add another 50 for the come up okay if you see the original picture you will know okay so, uh, change size first 1500 plus 50 okay then here the depth add another 50 also then I will do the same thing oh, rotate it first rotate it first then uh, cut the pattern do the same thing using B bot selection okay Then point edit then same thing delete the pattern okay draw so this one same now I will draw with uh, start with 300 300 here then here is 50 extra right then I will move 100 200 300 okay 
click on it, click on it here, then I follow back the square. Lah. So you will extra 50. Okay. Then after that, we're gonna click on the point here, click on this one, change the radius to 300. Lah. Like I told you here, I give it 300. Lah. So we're gonna click on here, change it radius 300. So you can see curved. Okay. Do the same thing. Okay. After that, you save. Okay, then return. So here you change the height also. Maybe I give it fifty. Then I do use tap button, move it up. Okay. Okay, move it up just like this. Or Okay, give it up elevation 1000 or because the panel is 1000 then I move it okay almost okay let's see oh. okay but at the bottom here I need to change a bit Okay, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna uh, do the skirting lah, cause you can see from the picture, or you can see from the picture there have a skirting. Okay, uh, I forget to that. My fault. No mind. We change it here minus one hundred. In the elevation, I will make it one hundred. So you can move on the right position. Of course, I will click on this one. Control V, copy one of it, then move it aside. Then I will need to change the height. I'll change the height. Okay. After change the height, right? Then uh, I will move it in. See this one four four seven. So here I will make it four four seven also. Then you can move on the right position. Okay. Then this one, ah yeah, forget make it come down. So I select it again. Elevation change to zero. Okay, change to zero. So you can see zero here. Then perfect. Okay, now we are gonna select this one material. My here we gonna change. Uh, choose this one. Uh, you see, oh this one I upload my own. Now uh, you upload your own. Or oh, see the texture are almost similar. So select it only. See something like this. Okay. Then we're gonna select this one, uh, change material uh, so it look like the picture. Change it to white color. Let's see where's the white color. Okay, white. Then another one also a uh, for format printer. Paint it white, 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 white. Okay, right click. Okay, finish. So the bottom right is a uh, gold color. If I not remember wrong, gold color. So I'll go for matter, material, gold color. Okay. Then here I will do the logo. For logo, I very simple. Uh, adjust the angle first. We will use panel point edit to do the logo. Just the super board first. Or super board. Okay, then you can input any logo you want. So I use box selection. Then I'll right click on the banner. Banner point edit. I'm gonna import the logo. Import it. Oh, this logo like I draw in the AutoCAD file. You can see. 
see this one something like this right I I, might, I draw my logo like you draw your own logo lah. okay I draw the logo in AutoCAD oh, this one okay simple as this P flip so then I will import it here and import the file you will see the pattern oh, you can draw your own lah. okay then I will change the material I'll copy the material first right click exit select it rotate it I'll rotate it first rotate here okay then press Z move it Ta -da. okay so it looks similar lah, something like this, uh, you put your own logo lah then you can see this one almost similar lah okay so okay here maybe we put some computer okay go for here then click on digital audio electronic you will see office computer so just drag the computer okay drag it put here rotate it adjust it a bit I'll make it look like the picture okay so that's all for today thanks for watching bye